Hey everyone, welcome to episode 60 of my Road to Pop Reward series. So yeah, episode 60, it's uh, one of the good milestone numbers of course. Um, yeah, welcome to all the newcomers and yeah, thanks heaps for all the people that have been sticking around. I know there's a few of you that have been here right from the start, so good on you. Uh, it's good to see you guys leaving the comments. I love seeing comments, I love seeing the... Uh, I love seeing the rates and that go up. It just gives me a lot more motivation to do stuff. But anyway, let's get on with the episode. So as you can see there, I don't actually really need any crew at all. It's kind of just um, background footage. I don't know. It's sometime I might upgrade. I'm not really sure if I want to keep one or two of the uh, of the bowl crew. But you know, uh, so I did actually get some uh, black market stuff. They're actually decent. Usually get the bad stuff, and actually think I got another one, um, the jade one later on the second day. So it's pretty cool. But as you can see there, um, I got an interesting thing about this. So I got the joint quish, and that's pretty cool. Is what I was looking for with the uh, ten she. But I actually got a scroll bench, so I had to turn that uh, turn the chi offer up and take the scroll because I worked out it's going to take me like uh, if I can only get one scroll a day max, and like, I can't get it every day. It's, I need like about twenty more scroll missions completed success so it's going to take me at least three weeks to get the rest of the scrolls for the uh for the three armor sets which i'm aiming for but yeah so the other thing i was just talking about then that uh with the story missions oh special missions they are as you can see here the missionary is actually in port as you can see there and now i'm going to show you something that i think they may have patched so you can see you can see here that uh, the missionary is actually out from the day before and I had a mission so I accepted the reward as you can see I got the scroll piece back from that mission there now I'm going to go check I did actually expect the missionary to be gone and the missionary was still in port so I was like hmm maybe that's something to do with the joint equation or something so I went and checked the uh, special voyages is still there so that's good I hopefully think that they might have fixed it unless it was uh, something different but you know if all goes well I think that's uh, confirmation that's fixed maybe so the other point I'd like to make is something soon with uh, perfecting your crew and that includes your captains. Now as you can see I've got a voyage coming up here where I get a trait from my captain. Now you don't want things on your captain and I've worked out stuff like you don't want fast learner or stuff like that that are really bad like the low tier traits. You're better off getting like fresh captain uh, with like nothing on them. Like here I got Slayer that's a really good one. It gives, it's from the Jade region. Uh, so the ball region and it gives a uh, plus 100 combat now, that's amazing it's almost better than the uh, ones that give like the plus one percent just because of the fact like one percent that's what if you have 10k combat on it that's going to be about 100 you know that's it's not that good so um, if you get the actual combat one it boosts the stat that you want so i have got two slayer on that captain there so it's like boosted 200 combat so that's a good bonus um you want to perfect your like crew obviously just for the fact that you're you know me i'm like right at the end of the game with the um the ports the end of the mini game so you know you really want to max out your crew uh, i've got like one of my morale ones from the ball region it's, it's level 10 but it has this lad trade on it as well just like my captain so it's got the uh 2k morale and then it's got 100 combat which is like insane for a uh like plus 100 is huge so you know i'm thinking about maybe uh trying to like replace some of my crew and be lucky and get good traits maybe um i might try that eventually when i've maxed out some of them to 10 just have like one slot for each one to just keep like trying because stainless steel is pretty easy to get you know it's uh it's one of the uh accessible resources for me at the moment just you know <laughs> it's super easy but yeah so i did actually release a video today about the uh, 2007 servers and in relation to my little kind of clan thing i've got started it's it's pretty much for both servers like i don't mind if you guys join it from uh anything really it's just a uh, little place where we can talk and communicate i guess it's mainly for the 2007 stuff because i am basing it off of my 2007 pure but go uh, make sure to go check out that vid if you're interested the uh my pure's name is rix with a z on the end so it's r-i-x-z so yeah um check that if, if you can so here the last clip here i'm actually just upgrading a few things so i upgraded my warehouse just so i got the extra track the jade and yeah i upgraded the uh, uh the to the next scroll as well i think i almost have enough for the next one too so i'll probably buy that one tonight also but that's pretty much it for the vid i am starting uni this week on the mondays so that's three days away so i'll probably get one more episode out and then i'll see how i go to making videos after that but anyway have a good one guys and i'll see you guys soon bye